Hello and welcome along. Today we are taking a first look at the West Coast. So uh, here it is, finally, Bullet Bill's wonderful map that's taken um, several years of development is here. Uh, I am really excited to look around this. Uh, and we are, I mean, the, the, you, you appear in the middle of Field 19, which is a little bit novel and really cool. Um, and just these views are absolutely amazing. In abs uh, uh, incredible. Uh, so we're going to have a drive around and it's going to look fan. Uh, and we're, we're going to, I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm expecting fantastic. So uh, we will see how we do. As always, it's available to download via the mod hub. It's currently only available for PC, um, but I know he is trying to rectify the issues that um, are preventing you getting onto console at the moment. So hopefully, that will be there in a few days. Um, but let's have a look at the map. There we go. So bring it up. We have. Uh, so we're in field 19. Uh, I think that's a footpath, the white line around the edge. So we're going to try and find the nearest road. Uh, and uh, and head round and have a look. So without further ado, let's jump in. Start her up, and we'll bring up the little version. I think the classic Land Rover colour is the one I want to use on this map. So let's see if we can find a gate. So the, this is this is the first thing we need to work out how to get out of this field, which is uh, I do feel uh, I do feel it is a little bit odd spawning in the middle of the field we're not anywhere near a yard or anything like that it's not a field we own or anything like that it is it is just the middle of the field so i might have to change that to be honest for me i uh, might set myself up to spawn in a different yard now this looks like i think this is a footpath that we're following now here we go here's a main road right Oh, liking the gates very much. Okay, and we are going to turn uh, left out of here. And head round. And I think we're going to try and find one of the yards. This is... Wow. Now, anybody who's... Uh, if you've been watching my, um, uh, my first looks, one of the things I always look for on a map that tells me the detail and the time and the effort that has been put into a map uh, quite often is uh, is the woodland. And just looking at the edge of that woodland, it looks fantastic. We will go and check that out in a minute. I think we're coming up to our first yard, though. So, in here. No, this is not a yard. This is... It looks like a construction site. Is it a cell point or anything like that? It may not be. It may just be a construction site. Oh, wow. It really is. So that's just a construction site in the middle of the map. I can't see a cell point or anything in here. Uh, there is a... Uh, there is a barn there, but nothing nothing storage-wise. So we'll head back onto the road. So this is an English map. It's based, uh, obviously, on the west coast. Uh, I'm trying to tell exactly where. Now, I think down here is a way to one of our yards. Yep. By the things, this is one of the farms. Now, there are a huge number of farms here. And uh, and it's very much you can pick and start where you like. So, uh, I think that's part of the reason why you start in a very neutral place, actually. So, this is the cow yard. So, if you're looking to do a cow-centric version of this probably say this is a good place to to base yourself uh, you don't own any of the fields around here but uh, it certainly has uh, yeah an auger and a bin and we've got a nice big barn here by the looks of things let's open this up yeah so good storage oh I like the sound of those and we have the same over here so two nice big barns that's very cool. Excellent. Right, so let's head on. 
So that is our first yard. That is the cows. Doesn't look like we have any of our equipment up there at the moment. Now we're going to keep going around uh, to the right here. Now straight ahead, if I look straight ahead, is another whole way that actually we need to go up there because there is a farm up here. So we'll head up this way. Now this is a huge map. For uh, I mean, for for what it has, it's this is massive absolutely humongous so I'm just looking at the map and we own as far as I can see 1415 okay 1415 uh, 10 uh, 81 81 wow that's uh, I think 89 is there a field 90 because that's a huge number of fields on this map so yeah really you can customize this almost any way you want for what you want. Have I just missed a turning? I think I might have. Or and no, it may go all the way around here. This is very windy. This is this is so much crammed into this map. That's incredible. I know I think this is just gonna end in a dead end by looks things, and we've reached the edge of the map. Yep, yeah, we have fallen tree, so we'll turn around and head back. Uh, good to see the edge of the map is not just a, uh, a line of, uh, or a flat line of trees, which quite often happens. Now, it's just a house there. Let's reduce our map so you guys can see it. I mean, it's, it is stunning. I don't... It's interesting. I don't know whether it's... Uh, ooh, is this our entrance? No. Uh, I don't know if it is uh, because of all the hype or... I, there are maps I think that are that I, I, that I think are prettier but the the level of detail and that's not, not necessarily you know uh, <laughs> kind of feel like I dug myself into a hole there but what I mean is there are maps that I think are that, that are more stunning uh, from what I've seen so far. That doesn't mean that we're not about to find a massively stunning area. Right, so we do have some equipment here. So this is one of the farms that we're set with. Uh, field 30 we own as well, which is the one just through there. Uh, I see a barn and what looks like some storage over this side. Okay. Uh, we have a Vultra over here. Yeah. Uh, a slurry pit by the looks of things. So maybe this is a, maybe this is a cow yard. That's interesting. I think I think I may have some stuff turned off on my map. Let's have a look. Yeah. All right. Let's turn that back on, and we can see what we've got over here. So we have. We are we are up here. No, this this so this has. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't say that it's the cows here. Um, from what we've seen, I would say it's already the cows. Uh, the cat, we've already seen it, the area for the cows. Nice barn. I like that. Uh, but it does seem to have a slurry pit. And those are cows in there. I oh, know this is the cow area. So what was the area we've be, just been to? That's very interesting. So this up here is the cows. I'm not 100% sure what we had. This is uh, Mountain View Farm. Wow, so there is a lot of detail. Whoa, hang on. So if I just park this here and pop out quickly. Let's see if we can get up here. Yeah, there's a there's a view down that valley that is just going to be utterly stunning, and I may take back everything I've said about the prettier maps because that there, wow, that is incredible. That is absolutely amazing. 
So we're heads down here. And back to the main road. So the logging forest is to our right. Uh, sorry, to our left. So, as I said, we will go and check out the logging. There's a lot. There is a lot to check out here. I don't think we will cover it all. Well, there's no way we will cover it all in this. There you go. There is some attention to detail. There is a nice woodland logging area. Feels like a woodland, this. Nice rough roads, and yeah, and you've got, around the trees you've got bare patches, but also uh, bits of weeds and things going through. Yeah, this is lovely. This is awesome. Nice, deep, and detailed. We're going to head back round, because we don't want to head up to field 26, but yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm warming to this map. I think I had really high expectations, got into it, when oh, I doesn't quite meet them. And, and as I'm going around, I'm, I'm falling in love with it, which is, which is a really weird place to be, to be honest. I, it's, I kind of thought I'd go in and love it, and I haven't, but I'm getting there. And I don't think we've seen the best parts of this map yet. That's that's the thing that's that I'm going. Oh, wow, you know what else is there to this? What else am I going to discover and uncover and find? So we will head towards uh, Little Woolhope. It's where we're heading now. Uh, this may lead us to the edge of the map, but we shall see. Uh, we do have some traffic on the map. So that's fantastic. And yeah, it is a British map, so we are driving on the correct side of the road, and the landy does have the correct side to drive for it. Here's Little Woolhope. Uh, and, oh, I, lovely houses. Really nice. Oh, yeah, this feels like a nice little village. There's the pub. And the village store, and... Wow. And there's the garden centre, so... There we will be able to sell. Uh, it does have a sell point, so let's have a look. This feels this feels like a huge map. This feels like a four times map. It really does. Yeah, Muir sell point. Fantastic. I like that. I, I like that manure cell points are a thing now. So if you don't want to spread it, then you can uh, you can just sell it. And that's I've never I've never generated enough manure just to just for my own use. Right, we have a cell point in here as well. Ah, this is a straw cell point. So straw and hay in here. They evidently have horses. Uh, and then over here, we come around to our pig farm. So the road, if you continue on it, oh, does take you down the bottom. So we'll go down to the pig farm and have a look, and then we'll head back to the road, I think. It is, it is really, I, when I get down to the front, when I get down to the, the, the front bit, it's going to be, yeah, I think that's going to be amazing. All right, Stonehill Farm here for the pigs. So again, it's another map where uh, the animals are separated out, uh, very separate around, which is which is great. Uh, really helps to optimise the map, that, as I've learned recently. Um, something I'm looking to do with my own map. We do need to head back this way because we do have cell points down this road here so I'm trying to connect up all the cell points in all the farms so if we can meet all those if we can get across all those uh, then that I think will be a good overview of the map uh, we, looking at this map there will be plenty more to discover an awful lot more to discover right I think we have the sawmill here by the looks of things yeah so sawmill uh, for selling wood chips over there, logs over there. 
Obviously, uh, because it's a map that's going on console, no extra pallet um, building or anything like that. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if there is an area there where you can put mods like that in, though. Uh, would be... Yeah, I'd like to check that out. Uh, so another field round here. So there are some. There's a good range of field sizes. We want to pick a field that's sort of a medium size. So uh, I'm not sure actually which one we will pick. Right. Ah, dual carriageway. Dual carriageway, where we can't go that way. Oh, that's... Okay. <laughs> right, we can't... This is interesting. I'm surprised I'm surprised there isn't a gap in the middle. Because you have to. If you come out that way, you have to break the law. And drive on the wrong side of the dual carriageway. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's brilliant. Uh, right. Oh, you're going that side. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, it could do with a break in the... I might... Again, I think there are tweaks. So this is a sell point. Massive sell point for Sugar Beet. Is what this is. So, that's really cool. Ah, oh, we're just breaking the rules all over the place today. Now, there's another sell point. There's another farm over there. So we're going to see if we can make our way to that. Yeah, be, it would be nice to have a gap in the uh, in the dual carriageway down that end before you hit the tunnel. Because otherwise, yeah, you can't really go in that dual carriageway in one direction. Uh, all right, the pig farm is down there, so that's another way to the pig farm through there. I think for us to get to the other farm down the bottom, so uh, cliff top farm. That's, that seems to be a long drive back. If I can find the road to get to it. I think that may be probably possibly where we end up. Sheep farm is up here. So this is a river rock. So there are really, a really huge number of farms on here. And somebody, uh, I think it was Landy, said that, you know, you can start, you can set where you want to start. And it's very true. I don't feel, at the moment, I don't feel tied to any one farm. I can go and pick which farm that I want to be mainly based at. Because I spawn in the middle of the map. Which I think, when I first thought, when I first uh, spawned and first came in, I thought, why am I spawning here? And now I get it. You, you spawn in a farm normally and you stick around that farm. I don't feel attached to any one farm yet. So, this is our sheep farm. It's fantastic. Oh, we do have a... Now, I always find that interesting. Game extension sometimes picks up where a bit of uh, crop is left on the map. So, there's some wheat. <laughs> there's some wheat planted here. Uh, sometimes causes an issue with... Uh, uh, with the uh, crop destruction mod that. You can get little bits of crop sticking through and no way of dealing with them. Uh, so, Moa and uh, T6, New Holland, down here. So, yeah, even your vehicles, when you start out, are split up. Uh, Pottinger over there. I think the Mo Oh, yeah, Moa was there. So, yeah. Yeah, even your vehicles are... Uh, are decentralised, are uh, spread out and about. Right, so we're going to head back. And wait, now am I heading? Yes, I am heading back. I can see my tire tracks from before. So this video actually will be going out uh, after my live stream, my first live stream on this map. Um, but I am recording this before the live stream because I didn't want to go into it. With, uh, I didn't want to come back and record this. I wanted to have a fresh pair of eyes. Go around, do it, and then come back and do the live stream. So, uh, yeah. I'm, uh... It's, oh, I want to go that way. Because we want to go and have a look at this farm down here. Which is a long way down. So we're going to just try and drive. 
fairly swiftly down here. So probably unsafe velocities. Whee! Whoa! Okay. So, being a bullet bill map, you can go through the hedges, uh, but your bales won't, which I love about bullet bills maps. Uh, I don't know. Am I going to go? Oh, yeah. Bridge over the... Oh, bridge over the... There we go. Right, so this is the castle. So, yeah. River Rock Cut. <coughs> River Rock Castle. Awesome. Uh, and then down here, then, must be the entrance to this farm. To Cliff Top, Cliff Top Farm. I don't know. I honestly don't know which uh, yard I'm going to base myself at at the moment. It's rather difficult choice this and whichever yard I base myself at I'm probably gonna end up changing which fields I own Wow this is a long old drive and more woodland more fantastic looking woodland is there is that there is there is that that extra attention to detail that is just amazing on this. And this is where our chickens are. By those things. And this is, ooh, this is a, this is a an old farm. Yeah, this is where our chickens are. Uh, bell, <coughs> straw sale points down here. Not a big yard. It's amazing. I'd seen Landy using some pretty big machinery on here. But to be honest, it doesn't strike me as a big machinery map. Uh, medium machinery, maybe, but no, nah, not not a big machinery map by any stretch. We have some sheep down here, but this isn't a, uh, this isn't a sheep farm. This very much is our oh, chickens. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm very, I'm, it's, it's kind of, it's a little bit breathtaking, not breathtaking the way that some maps have been. Um, I, both Sandy Bay and, and, uh, and, um, and, uh, Dusty Cove especially took my breath away. And this hasn't quite done that. Uh, what it has done is made me go, wow, the detail. And it is the detail that, that makes this map exceptional. It is the little touches all over the place that just make me go, wow. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I will go up and have a look at the castle later, I think. <laughs> but I think that's going to be the point to, for me to stand and go, holy wowzer, that's just gorgeous. So I think, I think that's, where, that's where that's going to end up for me. So we will head back up this way oh, it's a long and windy road so it's a lot of it, it gives a, a feeling of distance simply because there is because there's a lot of winding roads there's lots the, it's, the roads do not exist in the shortest distance to get places uh, right we do want to go straight over because along this road we have a cell point do we have any more no this is the only cell point along here this is the wool sales. I love, I do love actually the brown signs. So, um, if you're if you're from the UK, you'll know what a brown sign is. Um, but for those who don't, uh, for those of my international viewers, uh, in the UK, a brown sign is an informational sign. So, in the UK, if you have a, 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 a heritage site or a point of interest or something like that to visit then you will it will be signposted with a brown sign and so i love how bullet bills use that oh wow uh has used that to um to be uh, informational to to give this this information of where everything is biogas plant so there's our bga uh one large silo vehicle shop is up this way 
Uh, one of the nice things about the, tele uh, the TARDIS teleport is now, when I do a map review, I don't need to go and uh, drive the map. I can just teleport to the starting point, uh, which is very nice because I don't see the map driving from the shop. I get to start where you spawn in. Uh, so here we go. Great vehicle shop. Yeah, works well. It is a Massey Adco uh, vehicle shop. Ah, there goes the train. Ah, this is, I'm loving this town. This is a great little town. Oh, speak your witch. Uh, that is the animal sales. Oh, you're going to go up. This is when another train comes. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> yeah, don't try that at home. Not drive through the train. That's Riverton Station. Wait, there's a massively fantastic attention to detail. Here. So there's the pub, and if we drive down here, yeah, we can get to the animal sales this way. That's tight. Has that just brought me out? No, no. Uh, yeah, that has. That's just brought me out. How do you get into the animal sales then? That's interesting. And then we're going to go along the seafront, and this is this is, I think, where the, the uh, where everything is going to get just amazing. Pay and display, a uh, Riverton pay and display. Oh, here we go. I missed the road. It's here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Riverton Market and Auctioneers. So that is our animal purchase point. Uh, I see cows. I see sheep. Which? Uh, oh no, we do. We do have pigs on here. It's interesting. Where are the sheep? So there are sheep missing from the market, but uh, obviously you can buy them here. Yeah, you can buy pigs here, but uh, yeah. they don't seem to have a sheep pen. So they must have to order those in. <laughs> right, let's head along the front where uh, it should be. I think it's going to be incredible. Wait, there we go. Look at that. Oh, wow. There you go. There's, there's your awesomeness right there. A map that just looks... Oh. I'm holding up the traffic. Uh, but that is just... Uh, fairly realistic petrol prices as well. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There actually. Looks like there's some sort of viewing point over here. There you go. Now we've never done a shot like that before. So I'm going to do that, I think. That's, that's amazing. Oh, I, t I take everything back about what I was saying about beautiful. This is, this is just gorgeous. Utterly, utterly gorgeous. So we need to head back. And then we head back to the blue ringed farm up here. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Uh, we do have uh, we do have some silos. Strumble head. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and investigate that later. I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil everything for you guys. I uh, just give you a general. We we visited all of the cell points and uh, and all of the, the the farms. So yeah, I think I think. To me, this is 
probably the farm at which I will be based. Which is one we actually, we haven't visited this one yet. But this, yeah, this looks like the farm I want to be based at. Uh, has a workshop. Uh, combine is here. Yeah, this, this, this is, yeah, this is where I want to be. So that's what we're going to do. Amazon. Cool. Right. So let's head back to the landy and we will have a look at the equipment you start with. Does this gate open? No, the gate doesn't open. So you can't get your farm equipment out of that gate. Uh, right. So let's have a look at what we have in the shop. Which is that button. Right, so in the garage, we you start with uh, a good array of tractors, actually. Four tractors. Um, a T6 New Holland. An N-Series Vultra. So, 140, 345 uh, horsepower there. Uh, and two Fent uh, 700s. Uh, looks like they're different uh, powers as well. So, I'm not quite sure what those uh, powers are. Uh, no, we're not looking to sell those. Oop. Uh, and move across. Uh, two front loaders. Uh, two FZ30s. Uh, a universal bucket a pallet fork. And a bale spike. Uh, the Massey Ferguson Activa Combine. Uh, that, I think, is the mid-sized one. Yeah, 8,000 litres. Uh, okay, so it's uh, a medium-sized combine. Or the, yeah. Uh, a Laguna 24 header. The Agriline trailer that holds 21,000 litres. Uh, the Catros 6000 uh, and 2-2. Amazon Cultivator. The Amazon Chiron 200 Plow. Uh, the Vatistad Rapid A600. Uh, the Amazon FT1001 and UF1201 sprayer and tank. Uh, an Agco Weight. The Pottinger Novacat. Um, mower, uh, the Vicon uh, Tedder, and the Pottinger um, Top uh, 462 uh, Windrower. I'd probably get a larger Windrower than that, I think. Uh, Pottinger Eurobus um, Forage Wagon, the Ursus um, Wrapper, the Roll Belt Baler. Uh, which I'm not sure a round baler on this map actually is a great idea. And a Joskin Aquatrans. Uh, so you you actually start with a good array of stuff for doing animals straight off the bat. Uh, even though you don't start with any animals, I don't believe. So, uh, yeah. I like. I will just check that we don't start with any animals. Because you do on some maps. Uh, no, so no animals. Um, but I think that... I'm... I have grown to love this map more the more I've driven around it. Which amazed me because I was coming, came into it going, wow, this is amazing. I'm so looking forward to this. I had my expectations a little bit dampened and then just driving around went, this is immense. This is incredible. So go check it out. It is on the mod hub for PCs at the moment. Hopefully it will follow in the coming days for consoles. Uh, but uh, my conclusion on it really is yeah fantastic uh bullet bill has really outdone himself here i am so looking forward to playing on this map so i hope you will join me for uh for my videos and my live streams uh but for now uh all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this first look Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.